officially pumpkin planting day. So today is the 4th and we've come up on um, Colby's parents' property. Uh, we've been swimming out here, hanging out. It's a family day. Um, you can see that here's the area where the cows had been on this side, um, which is where the big white cow had her baby over here and they have just moved them over here. Um, so they've moved them to this area to start eating on this grass. Baby's doing good, it is a girl. Uh, Mama has been doing very well. She was up here all ago, I'm not sure where she went. Uh, she's just doing awesome, so super excited about that. I know there's gonna be some more babies coming soon. Not exactly sure when, but that's kind of been, there's the baby. Kind of been the project today is to get up here and uh, get these cows put over here on the other side. Um, and this is also the property where our other set of bees are. So um, they have checked those today too and uh, made sure those cows were good. So there's mama and baby moved over. They're doing good. It is a girl. She looks like she's been a really good mama staying right up here with her. All right, it's about 96. We've been out in this open pasture for literally probably about four hours. We got this temporary fence and built for all three packs. You know, we finished the one the other day, the one paddock, but now we have two uh, more paddocks that we've added. So we have three full paddocks. Look at how this grass is. Uh, it's got some weeds of course in it but we're gonna let them eat it down and then we will actually seed it again and get a pretty grass we did lime it so that way it, it will kind of hopefully kill some of this stuff and balance the ph back in this ground look at this pretty little heifer hat calf she won't come to me though come here <laughs> amazing it is july 4th and it feels like it but kids misty all of them are swimming we just got done with that paddock uh building the two paddocks and now we're going to check the bees up here uh, i've got four hives up here i do have an extra little box i keep up here just in case i need to split while i'm up here um i don't think any of them need to be split but I, i'm gonna double check make sure yeah it's ready to go so it's ready if worse come to worse i can split in it but um i hope i don't have to split because i'm really running out of I mean, I've got 14 hives. I really don't need any more right now, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and check these hives. We'll look at them and see what uh, see what they look like. All right, we're getting ready to plant some pumpkins. Aiden's going back to the house to finish fertilizing what he's got to do, and uh, we're gonna get on this tractor with the cultivator, man. This ground is, must be just so fertile. I can't keep grass out of it. I have dissed this thing three or four times and I, 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 I toyed around with putting a silage tart down and I wish I would have now, but I will. We'll figure out what we're gonna do once we get to that point. So we're gonna go ahead and get it tilled, or excuse me, cultivated, and then we're gonna start planting some pumpkins. We are done with cultivation and tilling. You see the rows, they've just been rowed up. We kind of got big rows just because I can't baby this garden because it's kind of hard to get over here by hand every day or watch it every day. So I'm gonna put big rows in it so I can go back through with the tractor between the rows, keep them cleaned up until the pumpkins start running. But uh, I think this will be good. Actually, I'm gonna do a trial set of corn here as well. I've got some sweet corn seed left. And at the very, very back, way back there, there's a patch of spot I'm gonna put some corn and just see how this, this ground grows corn because it's fertile, fertile, fertile ground. Probably the best fertile ground we got, but it's close to our, our lake and that's actually ground that hadn't been really touched uh, in any kind of cultivation way. So we're gonna see how it goes from there. We're gonna go and get planted though and see, uh, see how many pumpkins we can get planted. All right, we did buy a little extra organic seed, but this is our seed from last year. Look at all the pumpkin seed we got. Uh, we had our own pumpkins and we were able to harvest all these seeds strictly off about 
30 or 40 pumpkins. Look at look at that. And that's different kind. That's white Cinderella's. That's big jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. That's sweet pumpkins. That's mini pumpkins. That's winter squash. That's all kinds of seeds. So we're going to try to plant these. See if they do okay. We've never dried pumpkin seeds, so we kind of looked up and researched a little bit. And I hope we got it because we've got some gorgeous pumpkins here uh, from last year. So we're going to plant these first, and then we've got some other seeds we're going to plant and we're gonna see which ones does the best the ones we've got or the organic seed that we bought this year so um let's see how it goes from here planted all our seed um, you see I did not uh, use sparingly uh, just because we had a lot and I don't know if the seeds dormant I don't know if it's good I we don't know we've never dried pumpkin seed so uh, first experience with that so um, we planted pretty aggressively and pretty heavy uh, now with the other seed knowing it's you know an organic seed from a farm uh, we won't plant it as quite as uh, uh, philippantly if as we did that so we're gonna try that now and I'll go ahead and get it finished too, and then we're gonna cover it all up, make it look real nice, and get the corn planted as well. And it is planted. It's hot. It's about, I think it was like 93 on, it's only like 10.30. It's already 93, but the humidity is like 100%. <laughs> so I got, but I got it all planted. Uh, you can see the four major rows I planted Man, no telling how many pumpkin seeds because we had so many from last year. So we've tried it. We're going to try it. We've never planted and dried pumpkin seeds. So I'm, I'm anxious to see if we did it right. So I guess we will see. Time will tell. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. It wasn't much, but just wanted to show you uh, us getting started on the pumpkin patch. And uh, I hope that we show you a video soon that it's just growing and doing great and allows kids to come pick so uh, I hope you um, have enjoyed again and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do uh, we're shooting for a thousand so we're hoping to get a thousand pretty quickly um, I hope you're enjoying our content if there's something else you'd rather see on our homestead let us know we'd love to, uh, to chat with you we have the max at eight every Wednesday night uh, please come on visit with us uh, we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about but uh, thank you again God bless and happy homesteading y'all